clean this up. So this is where we store all the donations of clothes. So these are all the clothes for our rough sleepers. And up here we have our tents and sleeping bags that we provide for them. We have shoes, jackets, shirts, pants, t-shirts, undies, socks, you name it, it's there. When we house them, we collect in the furniture, we have all the dishes they need, cups, saucers, plates, uh, all your bowls, etc. You can't see, but down here are the pots and pans, so I'm still organising all this area. This is our sorting table for all our linen and clothes that come in. So we provide all the bedding, all the linen, the sheets, towels, everything that you need to be in a house. Wonderful. And this is also where we store the excess furniture that we get for them. Very good. Over here doing all your folding? Yeah, this is just sorting out some of the donations for the linen. So we sort them out and then we put them into packs. So we do packs up like this. So we know what size beds we're dealing with. These have got sheets, polo cases in. We do the towel packs up as well. So they've got, in this one we have two towels, bath mat, hand towel and face cloth. So they have everything they need for when they go into their house. And who donates all these? Um, a lot of the sheets, etc., have come from the Jet Park Hotel and the Sedema. All the bedding, the duvets have come from the Sedema Hotel, and a lot of our beds have come from the Sedema. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest comes from the public, from the community. Yeah. Mattresses, beds, drawers, uh, microwaves, anything that we need for a house has come in from the community. I remember um, one, oh, this was sometime last year, a man had passed away and he actually left in his will to leave all his belongings. Or, um, he his, left his pantry. Uh, yeah. Oh, the pantry. Suit. And, and that, that was another one. That's right. Yeah. He left his pantry to love suit. And when we got to the house, we didn't realise that he was a chef and that he had converted an entire bedroom <laughs> into a pantry. So we had an awful lot of food coming in that day. We've also had bequests from um, other people who have gone into hospice and they've passed away and they've left us the entire contents of their house. And that, and that shop, um, Men's Clothing? The Men's Clothing shop, there was one, used to be down Fenton Street. And the owner, he was a tailor, beautiful tailor made a lot of the clothing and they eventually donated the entire contents of that shop of the men's clothing to Love Soup and we passed it out to our people and to the community. That was amazing, a lot of lot of women that, that came in. It was your house was chocker. <laughs> yeah. It was. <laughs> and it so, often is chocker but it goes out very quick, eh? Hey? Yeah, it comes in and it goes out and we keep that flow going. Yeah. Which is why we have space to keep taking in. Yeah. yeah. But we're getting there. You are. Yeah, I've got um, a lady coming who deals with newborns. So a lot of the stuff will go to peppy packs for them to make up their packs for the newborn babies and the mum. So lots of blankets and toys and baby pillows, things like that. Nice. We pass that on to the community. Because unless we have a family who've got young children, yep. we don't hold on to it. Yep. So doing this, yep. this is part of our kitchen stuff that we bought in for Love Soup. Wow. So we've got that and the rest of it is out in the back shed behind the garage. Yep. So we've got the heating lamps, we've got the Bain Marie's. Those are all the personal care products that we supply for them. Everything is so well organised. But yeah, so this is a great space to have. You certainly need it. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of this stuff just came in today, so we've, this is the clothing for our female streeties. Um, we get a lot of female clothing in, but a lot of it's not appropriate yeah, okay. for them to wear. So, <laughs> you know, you're talking, <laughs> you're talking clothes that would be good for housed people. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because they've got to, you know, wear, like like with this with sleeping, they'll probably need more sleeping bags than they would actual blankets, eh? Yeah. So you got to... Yeah, they use sleeping bags and we try to get waterproof ones because then they will last through the weather. Yeah, especially the cold and winter coming up, eh? Yeah, yeah winter's not a happy time. <laughs> and those care packs that you can put together. Yeah, well, we put together the shampoos, soaps, conditioners, body washes, and they just let me know whenever they want any more and we'll, we'll 
dish those out. Yeah. Um, we supply towels, a lot of towels through winter time. Uh, yeah, which yeah. is why we have constant movement. We've got the morning. luxury of a washing machine. Uh, yeah. Or well, a hot shower. My washing machine. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, so, yes. So, so there's a lot, of, a lot of expense of each. You know, all the the power yeah. consumption, the transportation, the yeah. you know, there's a lot, a lot of costs. I mean, if they can, they will use the laundromats that are around town. Yeah. So they'll yeah. bring their washing here, and I'll do their washing, and you know, as you do. As <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> you just do what you gotta do. <laughs> so awesome. that's our shed. Cool. If I try and move that rubbish bag, you'll actually get a good view of... So these are all the Bain Marie's. We've got three of those units, which will go down to keep our food hot. My council, when I told them what, that I wanted to put the pantry down there, that's why they're redoing all the um, electrics. Yeah. yeah, okay. So that's what we're waiting on. They've just gone and they've cleaned it up for doing repairs. And they're doing all the rewiring. Yep. Very good. And then the rest of Love Soup lives in my garage. <laughs> so if we just move this aside. So this is um catch your food around with. Yeah, so <laughs> So we have our freezers, our fridges. All our dishes that we use for love soup, especially when we're out in the park. Neat things with lids in there, eh? Yeah. Do you find big containers with lids are helpful? I do have my big containers. Oh, yeah, lids. you got, yeah, yep. over there. So we Very do, good. at the moment, we transport a lot of, a lot of our stuff, especially when we're in the park. So yep. we take down the dishes and utensils, the cups. We have a hot water urn that we take down for coffees the food is cooked and we take that down and serve it up. So all of that gets transported three days a week and four mornings a week for breakfast. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Even all, all the containers of um, herbs and, and all that, they're all labelled? Yep, they were donated by CBK. CBK, CBK. Um, in Eat Street. Oh, okay. A restaurant or? Restaurant. Restaurant. Um, Bruce. Bruce Bruce used to be at Solace Cafe. Oh yes, yes. So yeah. he's that's his new job. He went over to CBK. Very and, good. Yeah, they donated all of the herbs and spices. Lovely. That is lovely. Oh, you get your gloves and all your. Yep. Yeah. We have good. gloves. We operate under the food hygiene, health and safety. That's something I meant to ask you too. Yeah. Do and I need to get that renewed every year? Um, good question. I don't know, but I'll find out. Yeah. yeah, some of the, I, I know first aid is one that you got to do every two years. Yeah, I think, so we just need to find out if we need to renew that. But this is our urn. So the urn was donated by the scouting group that we hosted. This was part of their contribution towards our work. So we've got the urn, we've got a massive, huge poacher. Actually, if I open it, we can't get in because the bike's over there. Oh, okay, yeah. We've yep. got the poacher, we've got this ginormous fry pan, <laughs> which is amazing. <laughs> They bought us uh, shafers, um, normal saucepans, big pots, everything that we needed. And your lockers, we've got your lockers there. Our lockers we got from Tauranga Probation Corrections. Yep. Um, I think they were doing a refurb and they wanted the lockers etc to go to the charitable cause. So we put our hand up and we got the lockers donated and we've got lots of them so our people actually use these to store their things so they come for breakfast they will stash all their night stuff in there for the day take a day bag yep. then when they come back for dinner they will swap their bags over take their bedding etc leave their day bag and it all gets locked up there what? and they hold one key and we hold the spear good man <laughs> very good they all got their own padlocks on them. Yep, they got some pretty. Oh, look at that. Nice colourful ones down there. Yeah, and the keys are colour coded, and these have actually got the numbers written on them one, two, three, and four. So oh, yeah. we have that engraved on the keys as well, so we know what goes to what locker. It's a lot of work behind the scenes, Gina. Absolutely. <laughs>